Rumors about a big game being shown off at the unconfirmed upcoming Microsoft gaming event on March 23rd was swirling around the internet this weekend, which really shows people are losing their patience in waiting for more information and more trailers about upcoming games. Ever since the announcement that Microsoft was acquiring ZeniMax Media, people have been waiting patiently for that deal to get finalized because they just want more information on the games coming up from those studios and what Xbox is going to do with those games. Now, before we get into this any further, if you guys are new here and you enjoy what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and upgrow this community so we can have some great conversations in the comments below. Since the launch of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S, people have been waiting on more information for next generation content coming to the platforms, particularly the Bethesda games coming to the Xbox platform because of the acquisition that has yet to be finalized. And in general, as we saw last week with the PlayStation State of Play, it was pretty boring and there wasn't really any big hitters there. So people are still waiting for a massive drop of information about some big games coming to the next gen. And it seems like it's all coming to a boiling point as patience is wearing off. And one of the big rumors that was swirling around this weekend was that Elden Ring, probably one of the most anticipated games coming up it's a from software game and those always have huge fan bases and they announced it and then they really haven't shown anything else about it and the rumor was that this game Elden Ring was going to be shown off at an Xbox event this month now what's interesting is that this rumor was quickly shot down so it was first reported by dual shockers here saying Elden Ring new trailer will likely be showcased on March 23rd on Microsoft's possible event what's funny about all of this is that Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do not believe that the event on March 23rd has even been confirmed by Microsoft yet. So there may not even be an event. I think there's a high probability there will be something in March, just because if you think about it logically, they are going to finalize the Bethesda deal. Some big people in the industry like Jeff Grubb has said that he heard that there is going to be stuff shown off before the end of the month. And if you think about the people talking about it, I don't think a lot of these people will put their names on the line unless they had some good information, but I mean, we'll have to wait and see. You never actually know. With that being said, Aaron Greenberg shot down this rumor saying, just to set expectations, this is not happening. There are always things we have in the works, but nothing coming that would feature game announcements or world premieres like this. And this is good because Aaron Greenberg is making sure people aren't gonna go into whatever event happens this month with their expectations so high so that once they leave, if they don't see what they want, they're disappointed. And I think for a lot of people with PlayStation State of Play last week, they entered that event thinking that they were going to be a lot better game shown off and they left really disappointed. But I think it's a smart move by Aaron Greenberg shutting down this rumor right away. And what this just really shows is that the industry itself is just so hungry for something big to talk about that they're putting out articles like this that executives at the big gaming companies have to shut it down. And in general, fans and people who have these consoles and people who are looking to invest in these consoles are waiting for information about upcoming games. Obviously with Xbox, they have all of the first party game studios. I would love to see information from all of the games that are being worked on, not just the Bethesda stuff, but the biggest thing of all, obviously for people, I think right now is they wanna know what's going on with the Bethesda games, but we're not gonna be able to hear or see anything about those games until the deal has been finalized. And I would be shocked if Microsoft doesn't come out relatively quickly after the deal is finalized to talk about the acquisition of ZeniMax and what's gonna be happening with some upcoming games. Now, when it comes to the apparent event coming up in March, it was first reported here by Paul Thurrott for Thurrott.com saying that Microsoft is apparently holding a what's new for gaming event on March 23rd. But I think what's gonna happen at this event and what I've been reading is they're probably just gonna be showing off like the future of gaming in the industry and Xbox and Microsoft's vision when it comes to gaming. And this could mean things like AR or VR or whatever else they have in the works, we don't know. Who knows if they're even gonna show off any games. And when it comes to Xbox particularly, a lot of people always are saying, well, they haven't shown anything off for a long time. What is a new AAA game they've released recently and all that kind of stuff. And all I have to say to that is patience is going to pay off. I think Xbox is going to have a ton of content coming out in the next couple of years and the wait and the patience is going to be well worth it and we're going to get great games coming to the xbox ecosystem and i'm extremely excited i don't mind being patient because when i think about xbox i think about what i have access to right now when i launch my xbox series x and my xbox series
Series S is I have Game Pass and I'm always finding new random stuff to play on Game Pass. I also have my back catalog of backwards compatible games that I want to jump into. Just for example, in terms of Game Pass recently, I just played River City Girls, which is like a retro style beat em up that I would have never played if it wasn't for Game Pass. And I loved Streets of Rage 4 when that came out last year, probably one of my favorite games of the year. And I played through River City Girls and it was just such a fun time. And it's that's the beauty of Game Pass. Now I'm jumping into like Greedfall, which is a game I've always wanted to check out. So there's so much content on Game Pass for me that I have no problem being patient. And then I think about upcoming stuff that we know is coming out relatively soon is I'm gonna be picking up MLB The Show 21. I'm excited to be playing that on an Xbox console. And then we look forward to pretty much guaranteed Halo Infinite is going to be coming out in the holiday season. And I mean, for me, no matter what Bethesda announces in the next couple of months, no matter what Xbox announces with Bethesda games, Halo Infinite is still gonna take the cake for me as a game that I'm the most hyped for. But I think this week here really does show that we're getting closer, I guess, to seeing more information because there is a game called Starfield. I talked about it in another video. We haven't seen much on it. It's a space epic RPG and it's from Bethesda, so if you like their previous games, you're probably going to like this, but it's supposed to be coming out in 2021. We haven't seen anything, but they did release this tweet here, and it's for a good cause. It's for a charity, which is awesome, and basically it's that people are going to have the opportunity to design a character for Starfield for one lucky winner, as well as get an Xbox Series X and a bunch of games, which, I mean, they're using an Xbox Series X to advertise their advertising Starfield as well. And who knows what this means, but this could just be kind of the beginning of them ramping up the advertising because they're waiting for the deal to be finalized to officially announce that Starfield is coming out in 2021. That obviously nothing's confirmed from that. That's just what I'm thinking in my head. I'm just speculating. And I think this kind of could happen. You know, you never know that Starfield could be that next big game that Xbox has in their hands to release in 2021 to bring more people over to the ecosystem. But it's getting crazy out there. People are getting less and less patient. They want information, they want news, and they're kind of just waiting for that big drop of games and trailers and everything so they can talk about it. And I get it. But from my perspective, the way I look at it is I have complete confidence that we are gonna be getting great content for Xbox, for the Xbox ecosystem for years to come, that right now I'm sitting back and I'm just enjoying Game Pass. I'm enjoying my back catalog. I'm enjoying jumping into stuff that I would have never jumped into or stuff that I haven't played yet that I wanna play. So for me, honestly, I'm the patience for me isn't that difficult. I obviously wanna see more stuff like everybody else out there. I'll be just as excited if I see something that I'm interested in, but I think that We'll get it when we get it. There's nothing to be worried about. And that great content is coming to Xbox. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you sitting right now waiting for information? You can't wait any longer. Or are you like me and there's so much to play in terms of Game Pass, in terms of your back catalog that you have the patience and you don't mind waiting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you are new here and you like what you see throughout this video. I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow, help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.